Welcome to my mother's channel. Sitting around doing some videos. Most of the time is happy. Bringing good vibes. Sitting around never sappy. Good vibes from the sky. Good vibes from the clouds. Good vibes from the rain. Children always feeling so happy. Bringing good vibes never sappy. She is so nice to me. Thinking about her family. She's awesome. I love my babies. It just makes my soul go from blue to yellow. Every single day, it makes me feel happy. Being around her, that's just what she does. She looks so pretty, so awesome, so nice. Bringing good vibes, good vibes to your soul. You and my soul feel so happy. Go watch your video. Go, go subscribe to her channel. Wait, I'm not ready to start recording yet. What is going on me right now? She says I vlog, I vlog about everything. It's like every day I go out. Oop, it's like vlog on camera. <laughs> I'm a smacker, y'all. All right, so I'm trying to get y'all set up to where I don't have to use the tripod. Because I want to see something real quick. Random thought. I took, y'all know I got this. I'm going to just cover my belly just a little bit, y'all. A little bit. That didn't matter. Just so y'all can focus, you know, all these boobs and all this belly might get you distracted. <laughs> Jokes. But anyway, <laughs> so, um, yeah, so you see my hair, right? When my hair was this length, remember when my hair was this length? This was the typical length of my hair when I used to vlog and stuff. It just comes, like, a little right here, by. And, uh, when it was this length, I still felt bald-headed. But now that I'm actually bald-headed... <laughs> Maybe feel some type of way. Even my hair was at its absolute longest, which is my back fat. Never was to my butt. Never ever did I get it that long. And I was called the bald headed my my donor's bald headed daughter, you know. So it's just funny looking back because I look so me right now. I look so me, and I do. And I and again, I don't want to relax my hair. I don't want to go back to any of that. So that's why it's poofy up top. Like it's super poofy. I don't know if y'all see. It's super poofy. I got a little bit of dandruff, for y'all. Don't judge me. But, um, just a tiny bit. Tiny bit. I know it's like a tiny, min this minuscule amount. But I'm looking at me, and I just look, I keep looking over here because I'm looking in the mirror. I just look so me right now. Because most of my life, this is the look I have. And besides the bangs. Like, I'll do my swoopy bangs. I was going to do bangs, but I was like, I'm not going to for the bangs with the poofiness. So, it's like, I, I find myself in limbo because I'm like, should I go back to text accent? Cause I always text likes. That means that we don't take all your, but still, I just, cause I wanna, I want my look back, but at the same time, it's like I want natural. I'm just so conflicted, you know, like big time. So y'all can give your opinion, but you know, at the end of the day, I'm gonna do what I do. But regardless, I can just sway either way. Just like you know, like there's no firm. Just, like I'm going natural right now, but I know I'm gonna get bored of it really, really. I'm already getting irritated because I can't look the way I want to look. You know, I like to look really, really cute my way. So, <sighs> I might get this video up today, too. If I have a couple more things to talk about, yo, but are you? Sassy, my sassy child just said, you always have more things to vlog about. You know what? You got a problem? Yeah. Let's come solve them. Okay. Let's do it. Uh, uh, uh. Let's do it. Uh, uh, uh. Let's do it. Uh, uh, uh. You. <laughs> Looking at myself right now with my hair. It's not much, right? There isn't much. And then there's still some left over to where it needs to be cut off. Like as far as like uh it will be to here if I cut it. Like to here. If I cut all the extra, like these are still Texax ends right here. So it's different every year, kinda. I'm like, like here. Like it all depends on what side, cause I have healthier sides and stuff. Yeah, so I have healthier sides and all that. So I have dandruff. Oh, it's so gross. What? 
dandruff pisses me off. It really pisses me off, but all right, y'all. Beautiful people, this is all, me and all my baldness. You see me there? All of my baldness just flexing with the baldness. Um, <laughs> my daughter just came to get her siblings, so I am alone for a little bit. But they just went to Cold Stones. But, um, yeah, this is my little bit of hair. My itty bitty bit of hair right now. <sighs> and then I have to cut it more because the end of it, let me show y'all. Give me a second. Hold up. Let me show y'all. All right, so the end of it. Shoot, I hope the camera didn't just cut off. Jesus. All right, so the end of it, like right here. Let me go. Yeah, you can see it. How the, this this is my natural right here. The natural ends right there. You see this thickness? Do you see how it turns into something else? Yeah, I'm looking in the mirror. See there's thickness, and then it turns into something else right here. So this is the text like ends. And then, yeah, so it's like that throughout my hair. So that's what I say. I had a tiny afro. When I wet it and stuff like that, you can see the afro. That's like, but yeah. Anyway, all right. Good morning, beautiful people. How's it going? At the car wash, trying to get things spiffy so that I can start my day. Um, Belly's out today, y'all. Let me just chill. And Belly ain't gonna go back that long. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Anyway, good morning. I will see you guys as the day progresses. What about the spray? Paint my car a little bit more because it's been acting up. So let me do that and get <laughs> Yeah, I'll be doing my own spots, spot uh checks and stuff with it because be tripping, but I'll be back, y'all. <laughs> Okay, so I'm at Target, and I'm beginning to think they don't have car scents. Um, turn it this way. Um, I'm beginning to think they don't have the car scents, you know, the ones you put in the car. But I did find, this is what I use to seal the paint after I redo something. It's called Clear. Um, so me and my rare tan I don't know if y'all can see me. I'm such an idiot, y'all. So me and my handy dandy rare tan tanner. Nearly, 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 nearly. We're going to go seal the paint in a minute but I'm looking for car scents and I don't see them anywhere so I might have to ask someone but yeah all right, let me sit this here with my coffee and my coffee was not free today I was a little upset about a little perturbed you know but the it was a regular person that works there all the time really cool person or whatever but give me free coffee but all right y'all and again you guys I just left Target and I got my paint right the um the stuff to clear and it made me put in my it made me put my um Give, show her my ID and I'm like why does it make you show the ID for for buying paint right and she's like oh because she did probably because kids still doing that stupid stuff I said you mean like from back in the day she's like yeah I, she's called huffing right she started crying up I was like yeah she said you know who do it though I said yep I'm like they still doing <laughs> crazy but um yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and spray this on then my daughter gave me a call so I have to go pick her up so we're gonna um I don't know what we're gonna do I know I need to get some supplies for my hair and she was like, you still need to get that stuff? So I was like, yeah. So I can't wait to hang out with my baby boo. So I had to go get her. I thought today was the day she worked. I'm all off, y'all. But, uh, no. So now I got somebody hanging up. Go get my boo boo. My road dog. But, uh, <laughs> all right, y'all. So I'll be back with my daughter. Hey, boo boo bats. This young, like, 18-year-old young white boy just said, you are so cute. Oh, my God. I said, I'm old enough to be your mother. I said, but thank you. He said, it doesn't even matter. I don't care. It's okay. <laughs> I'm like, what the F? Like, I'm an old lady. I'm a senior citizen to you, young man. Kids are cute, though. But, um, about to put this scent in. I haven't smelled it ever. It doesn't have a tester, so it better be smelling good. It better smell good. About to go with my daughter. I just got in the car and I was like, my car don't smell like nothing. I like it to smell tasty. I like, I like to get in and want to eat it. You know what I mean? I was at the store to get in my, um, Mm. Get my coffee and I came out. I was like, it's not even hot. And this guy, he was like, let me taste it. Now, the way he said that sounded like a sexual innu innuendo. And uh, I was like, okay, it's like, no, nah, I'm joking. <laughs> it's like, nah. 
<laughs> I just laughed at him. I was like, oh my gosh, you need another guy that said, now hold on now, calm down now. <laughs> Gotta see me every morning. He'd be like, we don't talk to her like that. But yeah, it smells kind of like the bathroom. Like a clean bathroom now. Yeah, I'm gonna be walking around smelling like fresh toilet. But uh, anyway, <laughs> y'all know I'll be saying anything, but all right, y'all. Um, I'll be right back, y'all. Well, I'm, at, I'm at my daughter's place and um, look what she just bought me. It came a little late. It was for Mother's Day. Wait a minute. I don't know if you can see. Wait a minute. It's not oh, focusing. Let me see something. Why is my camera doing this? Like, to zoom in and you zoom back out and see what happens. There it is. Okay, so it has all my kids' names and birth stones on it. Oh my gosh, it's so effing cute. So, yeah, I'm about to put it on. All right. Listen. As soon as I turn this camera on, that thing wanna go off. What's going on, beautiful people? I had a, we had an incident today, me and my daughter, where we were out, where this guy, uh, this waiter was being very, very, like he hated us as soon as he saw us rude, right? Wouldn't speed, went enough, just being so super de duper rude, and um, but he was nice and polite to every other white person in the place and to black men found that interesting but people are weird so I'm not gonna focus on that but anyway how's your days going huh I just got home it's not like that um got more hair and I got this to try this anybody ever tried this it's I heard, my daughter said she heard it's really good and then this one and this is just the same spray I already got a bigger one but I got one just in case because I'm kind of running out but I didn't want to get a whole big one because I don't use it that often but uh yeah because these naps it take a lot to hold these these bad boys down <laughs> but uh yeah i'll let you know how that goes and i'll be back if i got something to talk about all right y'all hey beautiful people i'm watching something ultra mega negative and i was like this is absurd so i was like um i'm gonna actually respond to it without i don't have the capability i do have the capability of doing everything but my son's not here to like go everything over me go with that, over everything with me again so i'm just gonna play this video right Excuse me, I'm such a pig. And I am I'm trying to get the right point. So I can start it. I'm going to play this video. It's complete rubbish. I haven't watched all of it. I watched a few seconds. I was like, dang, I would love to do one of those things. You know how people respond with a little thingy. But I'm like, no, I'm just going to respond and see if I want to upload it later. Or maybe if I want to use this for something else or something. But I just... <laughs> let's let's keep it real for a minute. Let's just keep it a hundred, a buck, all the way a buck. Give me a second. We about to do that. Black Americans are one of the most privileged people in the world. How? And we have to talk about it more. Please do, because I want to understand. I'm just going to pause every time I got something to say, because I need to understand where he's coming from. Here's the average where this foreigner is coming from. Rich salary in Mexico, in Ukraine, in Egypt, in Vietnam. All big countries with huge economies from di different continents. Okay, so he's comparing the average income of different companies, I mean different economies from different continents. What I gotta do with us? It's all different, right? But go, let's, let's continue. And here is average welfare check in USA. You see the difference? So then he brings up a welfare check. You talking about food stamps? Um. Weird. And what would that do in the US? 617, that, if it's average $617 for welfare, what would $617 in food do for you Crickets. Let's continue. People all over the world have to work hard for this money, while people in America are getting more for doing absolutely nothing, just because they are born in the United States. Correction. Any foreigner that comes here also gets welfare. If they don't have, they're, they're also, they always get welfare. Just saying. And they're also offered uh, businesses and stuff like that before black people who live in America. Let's just be real. If we're going to be real, they're offered those opportunities and get those liberties that people who were here in the soil forever, the natives, the native black Americans, yes, um, get. So let's be real. But let's continue with this foreigner talking. Isn't that a privilege? 
being richer than others just because of your birthright. Yes, it is. Oh. Sounds like he's more uh, angry, to be honest, at like the white white privilege, meaning like the people who set the rules in. Because you're you're mad at people who are on welfare, which means you should be also mad at white people on welfare. But we're not gonna go there. But if you're mad at the people who are controlling the system, why would you be mad at the poorest people? And calling it privilege. That's the opposite. <laughs> Oh my gosh, let's just continue. It's crap to rubbish. Oh, and just to be clear, it concerns all Americans, not just black Americans. All Americans are privileged as hell, and it's about time we acknowledge that black Americans are no exception. So you mad at America? Now, just imagine being born in Harlem, New York, one of the richest cities in the world, in one of the richest countries in the world, and complaining about not being able to get out of the ghetto. Because some people can't. While some Middle Eastern refugee has to smuggle himself to America illegally in a car Shame on your country if that's where you're from for like doing that to your people. Cargo bay of the ship, not having home, not having money, not having citizenship, just to get the people here don't have hope and money. Slightest chance at life that you had since birth. Oh, and he's running from his country because your country destroyed his home, by the way. So it sounds like you're more again mad at the powers that be in America. Um but let's continue. And he still somehow manages to open up his own business. Because I already told you about how businesses are afforded to, like, not even just their foreigners, like even African foreigners. Anything but the black Americans. But let's continue. So he can provide for his kids. And you can't get out of the ghetto, really? Man, maybe take a subway. Take a subway with no money? You're absolutely retarded. And please, don't give me that excuse about America being racist. Here's the list of richest households in the United States by... I don't go by statistics, but let him continue. ...ethnicity. White people are not even in top five. It's Indians, mm -hmm. Filipinos, Taiwanese, Sri Lankan, Japanese. If white people aren't in the top five, it's because they let the foreigners come over and get so much resources. They just let, it, let them deplete it. Could be. Could be. That's the reason. But could be these statistics are wrong. But let's continue. And then some. How could they all be so prosperous if the country is so racist? Because it's not racist towards them. Look, America is literally the least racist country in the world. It really isn't. Racism is worldwide, and it's super sad because I've had family travel, and they have to... Ooh, it's so sad. Even when you look online and stuff like that, the entire world is racist, especially against black people. This guy, how would he even know? Like, let's be real, he's a foreigner that can't even formulate proper English sentences like he can say them but the thickness in his accent makes you kind of like you know what i'm saying so it's like you weren't born and raised here so how would you know how do you really know and were you born and raised here around black people so how would you really know do you really know what goes on you don't you're using statistics that shows that you don't know what really is going on you if you have to pull up statistics instead of facts because of experience you don't know anything and you shouldn't be speaking on it but let's continue weird can you name any other dominantly white country that had black president for two terms in a row no you can because i can guarantee you the rest of the world is actually racist see he <clears throat> so he knows what racism is let's continue kind of not really kind of it's hell you're living in the paradise of political he thinks because he saw one black president that it doesn't that America is never racist, even though our so-called black president, the, excuse me, America's so-called black president that they had didn't even call himself black, you know, so, see, people gotta know stuff before they start speaking on it, but let's continue. For correctness. Oh, and it might seem like I'm talking to black Americans here, but I'm not. Sounds a lot like it. You don't hear him talking to <laughs> Tell me, I mean, I might be tripping, I might be deaf, dumb, and blind, but by golly G. Winnickers, he talking about black people, mainly. He is talking about black people because he's scared to talk about people, who, I, I think he's afraid to talk about people in actual power. He's just mad because his country poor. I don't even know what the deal is, but everybody's poor everywhere. You know, people, there are poor people everywhere. The number of people who are actually in the 1% is 1%. Or is it two, three, or five? I know it ain't more than five. <laughs> I think it's one. But it's like, why are you mad at the people who are struggling that have no power? Ah, oh. ah, oh, the stupidity. See, y'all, stupidity isn't just in America, y'all. Let's continue. I know that majority. At least not from natural born Americans. Like, he may be in America. I don't know where he is, but sheesh. Like, he didn't. He has not picked up on much at all. He doesn't even pay attention. He goes outside with focus on. He goes outside with stuff he can't see. He's bumping into stuff. He just don't even pay attention. <laughs> Yo! Ah! Let's continue. 
or to black Americans don't even care about it all. I'm talking to crazy Americans. I'm talking to Americans who actually... He's crazy! What do you mean? Like you, you're up here literally being crazy talking about, you're talking about crazy Americans. But you're the craziest foreigner. Yikes. Believe that their country Yikes. is some racist, villainous hellhole that oppresses people. It is. And it does. And it's been. And so does yours. And so does everyone else's. And it does. And it's been. It is. And it's done. It's been all over. What do you mean, weirdo? Let's continue. It's not. Look, you can't. It is. She is all right. I for you foreigner that can come over here and get resources that even the black people who have been here forever can't. White Jesus over here, well wanna be white Jesus, he's not white, he's clearly of color. He looks, he look like a mixed person, like black and white, like a half black and white person, but he look like white Jesus in the portraits. You know, so it's just weird to me, but let's continue. I promise. So yeah, you had slavery, who didn't? Not really, tell me, who didn't? So you have right? Not like us in your country and who doesn't no or really name a single country without racists I, I didn't and I won't because there isn't one that exists but you act like there is because you're weird I'll wait stop focusing on yourself please don't wait please just keep going so much this is destructive why wouldn't I focus on myself just like you focusing on yourself with this like you say you're not but you are you're angry this is definitely a his perspective thing Definitely. His ignorant perspective thing. His non-educated hypothesis. That's what this is. But let's continue. Narcissistic tendency that destroys your country. You have two kind of wet jobs in the USA. First kind thinks that you can invade any other country in the world because... Which has nothing to do with me. Because you force of good. And another kind thinks that you can appropriate... Oh, but let's talk about it though. If we do... Because I do come from people that... I had no other choice but to, you know, hi handsome, I'm video, I'm recording, but why? So I do come from, you know, and I know how things work and everything like that, but everybody doesn't have the right, wrong, everybody doesn't have the same mindset and everybody isn't bad. Like, especially when it comes to black people, people put black people with, like, automatically categorize them as everything bad before they even categorize people who are actually bad. And it's super, super sad, but, excuse me, let's continue culture and history of any other country in the world and paint it black because you're the force of evil and you have to constantly atone for your sins before black people well guess what you don't get to do any of those things keep your greedy hands off middle eastern oil and european history what did he just spew out of his mouth his filthy little mouth what did he just say like i don't know he's this guy's weird this guy is mad about the middle east being i guess raped by the white people in control and he's blaming poor black people he never blaming poor white people. <laughs> this crap crazy yo this shows their racism the level of racism because he's just mad at black people he's just so racist he himself is being like his white oppressor he is so racist it is so bad like and he may not have a white person because he looks a lot like white jesus like i said but so he probably could pass but it's just like really disgusting. He doesn't, he probably doesn't view himself as a person of color. He probably thinks himself ex ex like so different, clearly from black people. Like he doesn't even see like white and color. He sees like white and then black. I don't even know what he sees. It's just weird to me, but let's continue. Three, oil is black, white history figures are not. You're not villains, but you're not heroes either. You're just regular people. Just regular people who are born into insane privilege the rest of the world can only dream of. We're not privileged. Um, if he had lived here and been here and paid any attention, any real attention outside of his people being living in squalor and his anger towards white people, he would understand a little better that maybe we have more in common than not. And that's in general, but I'm just saying, but maybe we have more income, especially as people of color. And it's just super sad because you see this rubbish and you see how people think, you see what racism is and what white racism has done to the world. Like, listen to him. And it's just, it's appalling. Like, it's super de duper sad. And I hope he gets better because uh, he's going to spread that filth to his kids and stuff. It's just going to be, I'm, I'm recording, baby. He's going to spread that stuff to his kids. It's going to be super de duper bad. I'm sorry, I have a family in my life, so every now and then I have to I lose trail of thought because, you know. But let's continue because I've lost it again. And that's exactly why. 
so that was the end of it it was just that's exactly why but it's <sighs> foreigners stay in your land <laughs> not even in your lane foreigners stay on your land like it's just so weird like you <laughs> that crap crazy like we can all talk about some things like you want to start talking about foreign like we can all talk about some things uh, so, but I feel bad for you too. I feel bad for your people that they have to live like that. And they have to run here for the false American dream. I, you know, that's super de duper bad. I love America and I love myself and I am proud of myself. Um, the struggle's real for a lot of us, not just black people, but it is definitely more real for black people. It, we are dis uh, discriminated against and racially profiled and everything like that. I have plenty of stories myself personally, but you would never know because you've never lived in or walked in my shoes. So I'm going to go ahead and let that go. I just thought that was extremely weird. And I'm going to watch the responses to it. And I will talk to you guys later. Ugh, I ain't even mad at it. It's kind of like, you know, it looks something like it's just misplaced, like ill-placed, like rubbish. Like you just, like it just has no place, no foundation, no anything. So it's like you can't even be mad at it. You're just like more perplexed and more flabbergasted and more just shocked at how, well, like why? Why would you even, like, why would you even try to cut, mm, just leave it alone. It's not for you. You know what I mean? It's not for you. Like, gain an understanding first. Involve yourself with black people. Get to know black Americans. Like, know them as people. Like, hang around. Like I say, the ending to racism is exposure to people. You know? Because people tend to listen to the narrative. Like, whatever is, is, is put in the media or whatever that's what they go with when the media is lives. You know? So, I'm just gonna just let this go. But I just thought it was complete rubbish. I'm gonna finish watching it just disgusting it's on this girl's channel i'll link it down i don't even want to link it but i'll take the girl's name is it popped up in my feed today destiny ute i guess that's her name and um she i don't know much about her i've seen a few of her videos but i thought that i just think it's weird but there you go he talked about financial status of people in america um the Financial status of people in America is different from people elsewhere. You know what I mean? Like the living, the cost of living is higher. You know, so it's like, while you may, he may be throwing out random numbers, he doesn't really know all of the details in it. That's why I say he's a foreigner that's just talking. This one said that he is actually European, which is really funny to me because you're mad at us, but you sent your deplorable people here who started it all. So don't. Be mad at us when you're the cause. It all goes back to you. All stems back to you and your racism. And it's just gross to me. And I'm just over it. Yeah, after finishing the video, her video, I will actually decide to link her video because there were some pretty good effing responses. So yeah, check out her video. Um, <laughs> oh, I love y'all. But uh, much love, beautiful black people, beautiful people of color. And white people who aren't garbage or racist you know what i'm saying but mainly to beautiful people of color across the world we are freaking amazing we, the, we make the world go around we make the world inspire to be like us especially as black people so you know they'll steal everything from us and claim it's not that you know it's everything name it something else talents and all so this has been going on forever i don't even know why people <laughs> ah and like i said i have a personal experience with a lot of things so crazy biz anyway y'all have a beautiful evening beautiful black mother freakers out there and people of color and whatever good white scraps we can find and we will teach i will talk to you guys later guys americans are one of the most privileged people in the world and we have to talk about it more this has got to be one of the most dog water takes that i've ever seen on this app so i'm gonna deconstruct it for you first of all the argument that people on welfare make more than other people in different countries who aren't on welfare yeah because the cost of living in the u.s right now is ridiculous somebody with a full-time job working minimum wage in this country oftentimes cannot afford to eat why are they complaining about living in the ghetto? Because living in the ghetto is horrible. It's over-policed, underfunded, people within it are over-incarcerated, drugs are forcibly implanted into the communities, like the massive conspiracy of the war on drugs. Like, what? But let's talk about some of the privileges that black people have in the U.S. Over-incarceration, over-policing, police brutality, the school-to-prison pipeline, the prison industrial system, underfunded education, housing discrimination, loan discrimination, hiring discrimination, having to deal with white supremacy, having crimes committed against them be, on average, less looked into. 
having their political leaders get assassinated over and over again. Systemic racism, critical race theory, are just some of the many privileges that African Americans face in the U.S. Yes, what's happening in the Middle East is horrific, and yes, a lot of the times in foreign countries, U.S. sanctions or involvement has led to terrible things for the civilians in those countries. Nobody is denying that, but that has nothing to do with the discrimination and racism that black people in America face every single day. Like, they're trying to reinstate Jim Crow laws in the South. Are you kidding? Not to mention having to deal with creators like you get online to spout utter nonsense all the time of concepts that they don't understand, which only leads to more discrimination that these people face because all of your fans turn around and say, black people are so privileged. No, they're not.